So we've just come out with revision four for all of the kits, and the, uh, this revision has some very fundamental key changes in it that we're going to go over. So uh, the first is, or the most important is the uh, the powertrain system for the all of the lead screw driven axes on all the kits. So each kit has at least one in the Z axis. Uh, most have uh, some have two or three. And here is the old bearing assembly, and here's the new one. And uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's it's much smaller. It's about uh, uh, it's actually about an inch and a quarter smaller, uh, and it's less parts. Uh, it's been simplified. It's uh, it's been simplified. It's easier so to assemble. So the old one, if we take it apart, you'll notice that we have several parts here. We got the coupler. And we got this shaft collar, and then you have your thrust bearing assembly on this side, you have your shaft coupler on this side, and then you have another thrust bearing assembly, and you got this drill rod here that's already pressed into it, and if you need to, uh, into the bearing, and if you need to take the drill rod out, you got to press it with an arbor press. Uh, we ship them to you. Uh, already pressed, but uh, if you got to replace the bearing, then you got to push this out, and it's just a hassle. So, what we've done is we've gotten rid of this. If you look at the new assembly, we have the motor coupler on one end, and then we have your thrust bearing assembly, but what we've done is we've integrated this drill rod and this coupler, and we've brought you a single solid coupler. So the two thrust bearing assemblies remain and instead of this part, this part, and the drill rod, all we have now is this single part. And it works out so much better because it slides in with a little press. It slides in and out right off easy if you ever need to change them out for what if you ever need to change the bearings out you can um, and it's much easier to assemble now so instead of how uh, instead of having to tighten down the shaft coupler then put the collar on and tighten down the collar and then tighten down the motor coupler now all you got to do is slip the needle thrust bearing assembly on and put the shaft collar in the bearing, put the other needle thrust assembly on, and then just slip your motor coupler down and just slide it all the way down. And the motor coupler now is what is pinching the needle thrust bearing assembly against the wall. And so now all you need to do is tighten down the set screw on the motor coupler and the um, the the other screw to tighten down the uh, the uh, fixed shaft and then you're done so simple easy simpler easier for you um, much more convenient to replace and that's what we're after here at fine line automation